Ugh. Alright, so this is a little bit out of the Beasts of War wheelhouse, if you will, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. It's a, it's a great game that I've played a couple of times so far here at Gen Con. I heard about it last Gen Con. It's called Artemis, and it's a spaceship bridge simulator. Uh, this is the creator, Thomas, and uh, I kind of wanted to talk to him and see what kind of, uh, you know, where you're going with it, kind of where it started. It's been jam-packed all weekend. You've got a demo running over there, and then a couple days ago there were chairs because there were so many people, and now there's another row of chairs. So, uh, yeah, it's been going pretty well for you, I assume. I know you guys are sold out of the, um, the games downstairs, right? Yeah. yeah, we're totally sold out of the games that we came here to sell. Uh, so, of course, we're going trying to provide coupons to people to get the same game online for the same price, even though no, you don't have any more physical media. Right. Now, it's basically, it's a bridge simulator. It's designed so that um, you can play it with as few as three, but you can play much bigger, up to, what, six stations? Up to six stations. Right. You know, it's, it, was, it was really my dream, as was a lot of people, to just, you know, realize a video game in the shape of the Star Trek bridge. Sure. You know, we all wanted to play as Uhura and Spock and Sulu and Scotty. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, two years ago, I got off my duff and I coded it. Yep. So, and it's been a very wonderful ride since then. It's been very popular, been very well received. Yeah. And uh, you can even have a captain who doesn't necessarily sit at a console, but their job, and we've been seeing it a lot in here, is just to, to sit there and to, uh, and, you know, to tell tactical to do this and, you know, ask science, you know, to get to do a scan of that and go back and forth. And it's, after sitting through it twice now and playing it, it's really amazing the way that it's, I mean, it's, it's a video game, but it can easily pick up all of a sudden elements of role-playing. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's a very social game by definition. Yeah. You know, and, and many times I've resisted the, the call to make individual stations more complicated mm -hmm. because I, I want the players to have time to look up and talk to one another. Right. That's, that's really key. Yeah. I mean, if everyone's looking at their own screen, mm -hmm. You know, how is it different from any other game? Exactly. I mean, in any other game, you play in a LAN type situation where you're all in the same room or whatever, and you're all networked together, if there's not the communication back and forth. And I think that that's really great. The, now, the server that runs it, let's say in your local thing, you can hook that to a projector or a big TV, and then you can have your big bridge uh, screen. Yeah, that certainly was my intent from the, you know, the original inspiration of Star Trek. Everyone has to look at the main screen. Yeah. yeah. And that's what the server does, you know, in this particular piece of software. Yeah, no, it's it's really great. I picked up a copy, still got one before you guys were sold out, so I'm really glad about that. And uh, it's um, it's something very different, and it's something that's kind of grassroots. And uh, I'm just really glad that you guys have been able to do it. And this is your second year here at Gen Con. Yes, yes, yeah, second year. Did you have a has you have you seen an uptick in the amount of people coming to play and to go that direction? Oh, absolutely. It's been crazy. We were. The, the Elite Bridges were mostly sold out a month before the show. Yeah, yeah I was I kind of stumbled into being able to get one last night, so that was a lot of fun. And the scout missions are a lot of good, because it's a captain and two people, one on tactical and the other person on helm, and they both share. One guy does uh, science and one guy does communications. Yeah, yeah and, and that speaks to the flexibility of the software. You don't have to have six people. Uh, more the merrier, but you can still operate a full ship with less than six people, yeah. and it's still a great time. Yeah, well, yeah, no, it's definitely a great time. Well, Tom, I really uh, appreciate you uh, talking to us, and uh, we're really looking forward to the success. And I know you said also when I talked to you a little bit yesterday that it is something that you can play multiplayer, where one guy bridge full of people can play against another bridge, correct? Absolutely. In yeah. fact, just a couple hours ago, we managed to run all four of our scout bridges in the same sector, oh, wow. working together. Nice. So everyone had a great time. Some of them shot, shot each other. Uh, good time was had by all. Excellent, excellent. Well, it sounds great. I'm, I'm really glad to see you guys here. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next year. Great. Thanks for having me. Thanks.